Hello, thank you for tuning into my talk on Northern Argentina from the Andes to Iguazu. Over the next 15 minutes, I'm going to talk through some of the wildlife and scenic highlights of Argentina, focusing in particular on the, the northern part of the country. So Argentina measures um, over 3,700 kilometers from the north to the south and 1,400 kilometers east-west. Um, it's a vast country. Um, it'd be equivalent to the UK stretching from Shetlands all the way down to the Canary Islands. A few countries can boast such a varied topography and wonderful diver um, diversity of habitats as Argentina and with such a a wonderful variety of different habitats and altitudes. It has, of course, um, an amazing variety of, of, of wildlife as well. Um, all trips start with a, a flight into Buenos Aires, the capital, uh, down here on the, the coast of the South Atlantic. Um, but even here, there's some great wildlife and plenty of birds to enjoy um, with a, a visit to Costanera Sur, um, which is a, a wetland reserve on the edge of the city, home to a wonderful variety of birds including southern screamers and uh, and great grebes. Well I'm focusing on the on the north of the country <clears throat> um, starting in Salta um, up here in the northwest of Argentina right next to the Andes mountain chain which runs along here and then moving down into the lowlands to um, the, the, the wetlands of Marjiquita, the um, Marjiquita lagoon uh, Ibra here, Mibra National Park, and then ending at, I at Iguazu, one of the great uh, natural wonders of the world. So, um, one of the best places to start in Argentina is up in the Andes. Of course, we always associate South America with this um, amazing mountain chain, um, one of the longest mountain chains um, in, in the world. And Salta sits right at the foot of the Andes. And it offers easy access to a range of habitats and altitudes from the cloud forests of the Yungas uh, to the dizzying heights of the of the Altiplano. And from, from Salta, there's a network of roads radiate out and will take you high up into the into the Andes. And you can pass passing through these various altitudinal ranges, each of which has its own um, variety of, of habitats and, and wildlife too. So the scenery, of course, here is spectacular, um, the most spectacular scenery anywhere, anywhere in the world. But we start in the cloud forests of the Yungas, and Salta lies in, in that cloud forest zone. Um, and um, these are moss-draped um, forests, the, the, the um, trees festooned in um, mosses and, um, and epiphytes and lichens, home to an interesting variety of birds. Um, including Sayakatanaja, brown capped red star, and Bridges Guan. We then move higher up into the Andes, the scenery becoming ever more spectacular. Into the low foothills of the of, of, of the Andes, we start to see birds like burrowing parrot, and on the fast flowing streams, as you get higher, we're looking for um, the the amazing uh, torrent duck. Um, higher still. Um, we leave the, um, the forests and the, the wetter areas of the Andes and we enter the, um, the rain shadow of the, the mid elevations and the high elevations. So the, in the mid elevations, the um, forests are replaced by forests of uh, cardon, uh, of, of cactus um, in the Los Cardonas National Park. Overhead, um, the plenty of Andean condors will be, will be soaring. And at ground level, we'll be looking for other birds such as the Andean flicker um, and a few uh, interesting hummingbirds as well. One of the most spectacular being the, the beautiful red-tailed comet, um, which lives which is quite widespread in the more upland areas of, of, of Argentina. The equally attractive long-tailed meadowlark is another of the species to look out for. And as we climb higher and higher, um, we get into the, the zone of the, um, the, the Puna, um, high altitude step, um, and the, on the Altiplano. Um, there are a few mammals up here, as well as the birds to, to enjoy. Um, guanacos uh, are common up in the higher elevations. 
Um, and there are, uh, uh, there, there are also herds of the more delicate vicuña, um, which live up here as well. They particularly do like the, 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 higher, um, the higher elevations. And then we get the roads um, from Salter that head up into the mountains, um, come, go up to um, over 16,000 feet. This is the Al um, Albra de Ake Pass. Um, which is over 16,200 feet. Um, and even up here, there's an interesting variety of, of, of birds and other wildlife to look for, if, even if there is a, a, a distinct lack of oxygen. So grey-bellied seed snipe, um, a very hardy bird that lives in the, the highest um, altitudinal zones of the Andes. And the beautiful tawny-throated dotterel, which lives um, on the, the high Puna steppe, um, and is quite frequently seen um, um, at, so say, the, at the highest of altitudes. Um, close to the border with Chile, um, there are a series of saline salt lakes, uh, Altiplano lakes, um, where there are breeding um, flamingos. There's Puna, his Puna flamingos. Lake uh, Pozuelos is one of one of the key places to visit in the top northwestern corner of Argentina. Um, also hope to home to Andean avocets and a variety of other high altitude species as well. So they, the Andes, wonderful scenery, fantastic wildlife um, to enjoy. But dropping down to um, much lower elevation um, and um, some much needed oxygen, there are flamingos down at, in the in the lowlands of Argentina as well. Um, in particular, um, at a lake called um, Marjiquita the largest salt lake in the whole of South America, a couple of hours drive from the, from the city of, of Cordoba. Um, and Marjiquita um, was the focus of the 2018 bird fair, which raised over, which raised amazing 322,000 pounds for its uh, continued protection. It's home to large numbers of flamingos, um, the, the, the large flocks of Chilean flamingos and in the non-breeding season um, Puna flamingos as well come down to the lake to, to winter in, in, in smaller numbers. The lake is a, 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 a wonderful um, um, place to, to go birding um, not just for the resident birds but also for a lot of migrant species um, such as vast numbers of Wilson's phalarope. Over, over half a million Wilson's phalarope spend the winter um, at the lake Commoner birds as well, such as the wide, more widespread birds, such as southern lapwing, um, are often seen. And as well as the wetland birds, there are some land birds around the edge of the, of, of the lake. A burrowing owl is a, is, is a frequently observed species. And in the, in the fringing woodlands, a scimitar-billed wood hoo, sorry, scimitar-billed wood creeper uh, needs to be looked for as well. But another fantastic wetland uh, in the lowlands of Argentina um, is the, uh, the Ibera wetlands um, in the uh, province of Corrientes. It protects a mix of, the, of grasslands, cattle ranches and uh, freshwater marshes, um, which are protected within the Ibera National Park. Um, the park is teeming with wildlife. Uh, loads of capybara, common mammal uh, seen throughout the park. Flocks of um, roseate spoonbill, um, are also commonly encountered along with plenty of, of egrets um, as well, other water birds such as limpkin. The Ibera wetlands are often known as often called the Argentina's um, Pantanal. Um, and the drier areas, um, there are, are lesser rhea, and in the wooded fringes to the marshes, um, the beautiful white monheta um, is frequently seen, a, a, a pure white flycatcher. Um, that's commonly seen flying out from trees to catch insects. Um, the, but the, one of the key birds for birders to see in the Ibera wetlands is the um, very um, bizarre but um, aptly named um, strange tailed tyrant, um, a very localized species of flycatcher um, that only lives in the, in the grasslands of, 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 of Ibera and a couple of other neighboring reserves. But if you want, you've explored um, the north of Argentina, a great place to, to end your holiday is at the magnificent Iguazu Falls, one of the great natural wonders of the world in the province of, of Misiones, up near the border with Brazil. 
Here, over 275 individual waterfalls cascade over the edge, um, creating a, one, of the, one of the world's great uh, natural wonders. Um, the Devil's Throat, which is the main waterfall, uh, here over 2 million litres of water per second pour over um, the, uh, the precipice. Um, it's a spectacular uh, place to visit. Overhead, there are wheeling flocks of great dusky swifts, um, and these are the swifts that uh, risk life and limb to nest behind the waterfall. They nest behind, fly through the cascades um, and nest on the rocky cliff faces uh, behind the waterfalls. But as well as enjoying the, the spectacular um, falls themselves, they, they're surrounded by the lush tropical rainforest, home to some really interesting and colourful birds. Toco toucan uh, are, are commonly seen here along with other species such as the attractive uh, swallow-tailed mannequin and some larger birds too, um, such as black-fronted piping guan. So the great thing to do at Igrasu is get up really early in the morning, explore the trails and do some bird watching in the first couple of hours. And when the bird activity calms down, dies down, you can head off into the falls and actually watch the, see the falls themselves. So that, and, and as well as the, as the birds, of course, there was lots of other um, insects and butterflies, moths, etc., reptiles to be into, to be enjoyed in, in the park. So that just gives you a very brief overview of some of the wildlife and, and, and scenic highlights of, of northern Argentina. If you'd like to learn more, then please do give the Nature Track Office a call on 01962 733051 um, or visit our website at www.naturetrack.co.uk. Thank you for listening.